Hey guys, Zogi Sanchan, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to share with you guys a few little tips and tricks you can start doing now to get your breaker ready for the 20th of March as that is most likely when it's going to be coming out. So we've got about two weeks now before breaker actually drops. So I'm going to share with you guys a few things you can start saving up now to go towards your breaker and like just a little tips and tricks. Step number one, you want to make yourself a breaker before the last Saturday before the 20th. So like you need five days for that character to actually build up full wasted. This you don't need to, but I mean, if you want to min max your your push on your breaker, you want to go into it with full rested. So if you get make yourself a character now, you can actually make yourself a male martial artist. As you can see in the background there, I have made him. And all you got to do is go into Trixia and you walk across the bridge, I believe, to like where you got to make the book. I'll just show you guys in the background. So step number one, you make your breaker, you walk across that bridge while well, you make your male martial artist. You come read the book and it's going to ask you to choose a class. Obviously, there is only striker. So you just go with striker class test and blah, blah, blah. Now you go switch character and then switch to whatever you want. And that's it. You can now leave him there. He will sit there generating rested until uh, breaker does come out. You can actually come log back in and then you can select the breaker on this character. So that's step number one. Step number two is actually talking to you guys about the froggy event shop right now. The stuff from the frog shop is pretty much all roster bound. So you can buy it all and put it in your roster storage. And the event I am talking about is up here if you go to the event shop. So this event shop is super juiced as this side of here, which you get from these tokens from your Chaos and your Guardians. These are all roster bound as well as from the gold. This honor shards, honor leaps and the support holding material. This is all actually roster bound. As you see there, right underneath the box, it says bound to roster on pickup. So let's go ahead and grab all of these. It's definitely worth the gold as this gives you a load of honor shards and leap stones as well. And then while we're there, we might as well buy out this whole shop. Let's buy out all these materials. Going to buy all of these. Um, you can also buy the hope evidence. I believe those last long enough. 0417. Yeah, so they do last long enough too. You can buy those. And then the honing books is very important as well. And then the rest, obviously, you can buy that out too. But we're just talking about right now for breaker prep. This one of yeah, buy is uh doesn't buy. I mean it does bound to roster, but it's just got all these random stuff for cards and things. So if you do need your legendary cards and you're working towards stuff, go ahead and get that. If you are still hunting Light of Salvation 30 and all that go ahead and pick those up those are 20k to max those out and out of the three or four weeks that we've had frog i don't think i've gotten a single legendary out of there unfortunately for me but back to the breaker prep so now we can go ahead and look at our pet this is my breaker storage so i go put this all in i have been saving these all up for the breaker and that i believe i have in my roster storage there so this is all roster bound you can put it in there and then you can actually pull this out for a breaker so make sure you are buying out the frog shop and get everything ready and stockpiling it. You can stockpile gems as well for your breaker. It's another thing you can start doing. Obviously, you will get the event gems. So we'll probably get like sevens and eights. I'm not sure. Maybe we get a nine with the new event. But over there, I've got like three eights or a nine or something like that. And then I do have a lot of cubes as well. You should run all your cubes on all your old characters because then with those cubes, you get a ton of uh, gems as well. And then obviously, you can hone those up or convert those or combine them or whatever for your breaker so there's that there is the event shop there's the gems the event quest oh this is also another tricky little thing yeah if you guys have not claimed your chaos stuff on the event quest over there because this the timer only starts um since you've acquired it so you see there's seven days since acquired this actually does end on the day breaker comes out if we can find the in-game event period 3 20 24 so that's that's when we believe breaker is coming out so what you would do with this is because this is also bound to roster on pickup. I, I picked it up the first one without reading it on accident because I'm stupid. But hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake. So I mean, it's not a mistake, but you know, min maxing, trying to get everything out of it that you can. You can save these for breakers. So the day before the 20th on the 19th, so it's going to be like a Tuesday. Go ahead and claim both of these and then put them in your roster storage. As then it'll be seven days from when you pick it up. So it will still last into the breaker event. Well, when breaker actually comes out and another thing is the maintenance package which i've already obviously opened that we got today wait well, yesterday with the long maintenance that we got gave us two of these again that you can leave in your um your universal storage or like your product claim wherever it was leave it there and wait for breaker if you're really trying to min max it, you pull that out also the day before breaker comes out or i think you can even just leave it in there it doesn't time out at all if it's in the inventory like if your product inventory it's in your shop so if you press uh, F4 and we come here, product inventory, it should be in there. The gift, the maintenance thingy, 
just leave it sitting there until breaky comes out you can pull it out when breaky comes out and then bam you have another two more chaoses over there so there's a lot of chaos stuff that you can actually get there with the refresh the event quest on that one claim both of those these you can actually claim um before the time doesn't matter this also does last until 0417 so there's two level fives there for your breaker as well and there's a bunch of stuff from all of this there's another two fives uh there's just some honing materials there's some cards but all of the stuff is pretty worth it to go ahead and do some quality taps that also runs out on the 17th of april so all of this can be used for your breaker and then obviously we'll get all of the crazy juice that we get with whatever makoko express comes with the breaker so just remember to keep all that stuff from the special shop of yeah i believe these okay these are bound to characters so this doesn't really matter unless you're trying to push up a character you obviously do need those tokens so those tokens you get from opening i believe some of these boxes maybe but you do get them from that one over there so there is some of these materials and stuff those actually last until break it comes so if you wanted to you could buy these i would say it's probably the best bet over here maybe the legendary stuff just to help you i'm not sure if these will be retroactive so when breaker comes out if you can actually get the breaker engraving with this if so then that's pretty good you should go ahead and pick those up i think i might pick those up just to see what happens with that because that is bound to rust obviously just these materials are bound to whatever character you pick them up on and then another little thing is to make sure you start running all your garden nets. i have a lot of alts i run descoluders on like these and then i run kelly's i run monkeys i run trees make sure you're running all of your garden reads and then you put those in the stash just stockpile up your leaf stones now this is only real if you are trying to really push breaker far in day one i'm actually going to be main swapping to breaker i'm saving all of that up there so save all of these because you never know how many of these you're going to need and obviously you might maybe if you don't need them you can just sell them afterwards as well as i would suggest stocking up on the superiors uh, the blue ones i mean they're pretty cheap but you might as well get like two or three hundred of them i do have another video up on my channel showing you exactly how many materials more or less not exactly like an estimate of how many materials you need to get to 1580 so you can take it from there and then you can see how many more you actually need to go ahead and buy because the reason i say doing this now before break comes out is the price of these will skyrocket once break comes out as well as the leap stones probably even these stones as well so just do start stockpiling now or if you have probably been stockpiling a few weeks ago or a few months ago when they announced breaker and that but uh, yeah definitely want to start stockpiling these as these are going to be the most expensive as well as these once breaker does drop so just a little thing to keep in mind i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm not i'm not stockpiling too many of these because i'm just going to make them myself with fish from my farm and fish that i've actually caught myself so that's how i plan on making my orias so that is about everything i can think of also i will be streaming pretty much right after this video goes live tonight at twitch.tv slash augusane so drop on by say hi drop some any tips you got about what to do for your breaker if you guys are excited you're going to be main swapping drop that all down below in the comments and i will be streaming breaker day one we're going to go full send it to the moon as high as we can get our breaker so if you are interested in checking that out we will be live on that day as pretty much as soon as the servers go live on the breaker launch we'll be going there and we'll just be blowing through all the content and pushing it up as far as we can so if you'd like to see that drop on by i'd love to see you guys there if you like this video please drop a like and a sub to the channel helps me out so much and i'll catch you beautiful people in the next one augie say now run free and dive into the sky here the